Hey everyone, today is Wednesday, June 27th. Um, uh, yesterday, I did the uh, Mass Effect 3 extended cut ending uh, as soon as it dropped. Uh, and I managed to finish the game again to see the new ending. And I chose Synthesis again. Because in the destroy ending, I couldn't justify killing Edie or the Geth. I couldn't do it. Um, and the control ending, regardless of the fact that I could control the Reapers, that's it, not, no one should have that kind of control unilaterally. So, I went with uh, Synthesis, and I don't regret it in the slightest. A friend of mine called it the Borg ending, but that's not entirely true, because we don't become hive minds, we just become part synthetic. Uh, we, we maintain our individuality, because we are still organic. And the organics gain some synthetic qualities, uh, the augmentations they wanted, and the synthetics gained... Some organic qualities, the understanding of the universe that they wanted, in a way. And uh, I'm okay with that. I then went to Star Trek Online and worked on the Cation Carrier, and I think I got it to the sweet spot. I switched from the Advanced Stalker Fighters to the uh, Baseline Peregrine Fighters and saw a marked improvement in quality of, well, damage output. A lot of torpedoes firing at once. I like it. Um, the other things I did was I switched out the skills I was talking about. I switched out um, emergency power to the auxiliary for emergency power to the weapons one. I switched out... Um, Jam Sensors 3 for Scramble Sensors 2, which is hilarious when it works. Uh, and it works quite often, sometimes only on one target because I misjudged the distance between the targets because it has a 3 kilometer radius. And uh, sometimes they may be a certain distance from me and they look close together, but sometimes they're not. It's great to do it on frigates. It works on them all the time. Uh... And I swapped out Photonic Officer 1 for Energy Siphon 1 uh, to help with my power demands. Um, I also, late last night, I didn't get a chance to try it, swapped out Tractor Beam Repulsors 2 for Photonic Shockwave 1. Or is it 2? I don't remember. But Photonic Shockwave. So I haven't had an opportunity to try it out. Um, but I like the idea of a PB AOE kaboom boom instead of the push everyone away. There was a discussion in the in the chat uh, yesterday about tractor beam repulsors and how sometimes they can cause more problems than they solve. So uh, and I was like, yeah, and I don't really use them that often because I don't see the point. So photonic shockwave seems to be a good idea. It kicks everyone back just a little bit, but it also hurts them more. So that's cool. Uh, I also messed with the power settings a bit. I'm running 65 in auxiliary, uh, 55 in weapons, and uh, 40 and 40 in the in shields and engines. I think. Uh, 120. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was running that. I pulled off one of the auxiliary consoles and I put on an EPS flow regulator. Um, I pulled off the hard peng and put on a sixth turret. Um, yeah. That's it right now. Uh, it's doing very well. Uh, I was having a lot of fun, so I'm looking at getting the advanced Peregrine Fighters sometime in the near future for the added firepower they give, but I'm in no rush. I can do the dailies without them. In fact, I did a double run of dailies yesterday. Um, without 
with, with just the baseline peregrines. I thought they were fantastic fighters. Um, the only issue I have is I would love an icon to tell me how many fighters I have out because uh, every time I end a conflict, little tussle, blow up a few ships, um, I have to do a head count again. Now, yeah, I could just hit the, the hangers and spawn some more, which I oftentimes do, but the issue is, is that I like having 12 fighters out, and sometimes there's 11, and I can't necessarily count them all that quick because they're moving, or they're sitting there, but they're overlapping, and I have to stare at them. So I'm wasting all this time counting my fighters when really I could do better with a tooltip or, you know, like a buff marker on my ship saying you have 12 fighters out or something like that, you know? Or like uh, Hangar Bay 1 is supporting 6, Hangar Bay 2 is supporting 5, you know, something like that. So that way I can just do it like that. I, I'd appreciate it. Um, and and along with the, the Polaron debuff marker, uh, I mean, if there's a debuff marker, if there's a if there's a marker to show confusion resistance on the enemy ships, I'm sure it's easy enough to put in a marker that shows Polaron effects. So anyways, um, that's really it. That's all I did yesterday, really. Until next time.